Welcome to this new video from the ASAR 3D channel. We will see in this video how to calibrate the camera according to the perspective in order to integrate an object in a photo. We will then see how to create our scene. And finally, how to add lighting and shading. To be able to easily configure the camera settings, we will use the FSPY software and its add-on for Blender. You can download this software and add-on from the web address provided. Start by entering the web address in your browser. Then click on the download button. Now download these files to the directory of your choice. Finally, start the setup and follow the instructions. At the end of the setup, an icon appears on the desktop. The software is now set up. Let's move on to installing the add-on. Go back to the site's home page and scroll down until you see import into Blender. Now go to the latest version of the add-on. Now download this file to the directory of your choice. Open the preferences menu and install the zip file. Once done, find the add-on in the list by entering import in the search menu. Select the add-on and save your preferences. Now that the programs are installed, we will be able to configure a camera with FSPY. We will now launch the application and import an image. Then we will adjust the Y and Z axis control points to allow the camera angles to be calculated. Move the handles of the Y axis control points so that they follow the perspective of the image. In this image, the X axis is difficult to visualize. Change the type of control points so that they are carried out on the Z or minus Z axis. Check that the Z axis points up, otherwise change the direction of the control points. When you are satisfied, you can save your work. The created file will be used in Blender to add and calibrate a camera. We are now going to create our scene by adding an F-Spy camera, a plane to manage the shadow catcher and a car as the central element. Open a new Blender file and import your F-Spy file. A camera is added and calibrated to your photo. Let's go to the plane which will be used to create the shading. Remove the cube and add a plane. Move the plane so that it coincides with the road. Then resize it and extrude it so that it covers sidewalks and buildings. Now we are going to add the car and place it on the surface we created.
Now let's see together how to manage transparency, shading and light so that the car fits perfectly into the photo. We will start by making the background of the scene transparent to then allow the display of the photo in the background. Then select the plane. To soften the edge of the shadows, set the shadow terminator to 0.1. Activate the plane shadow catcher. Select the lamp and turn it into a sun. Adjust its strength and change the angle to soften the shading. You can now point the sun in the same direction as the light source in the photo. Now let's see what this gives in terms of rendering. Finally, we will add an environment texture to our scene and perform the compositing. Go to the shading editor and select the compositing of the world. Add an environment texture and if nothing better, add the photo you use. Now go to the compositing editor. Add an image node containing your photo and a mix node so that you can mix the rendering and the photo. Connect the alpha of the render layers to the factor of the mix node, so that the transparency is taken into account when rendering. Now let's see the result. Thanks you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Other types of videos are available on my channel.